So we're going to start with the next topic, which is uh, reaction kinetics. Okay. So remember, you did some reaction kinetics in AS and O levels, but that was very, very basic. So this is this is what you studied in um, in reaction kinetics. The first thing is, uh, I mean, you can call it rate of reaction. Now, the very first thing is that when you talk about the rate of reactions, so we've got many different types of reactions. We need to first understand uh, what is meant by the term rate. So when you see a reaction that's happening quickly or slowly, what exactly is rate? Rate is basically proportional to any change that happens with respect to time. Okay, so, so any change with ha which happens with respect to time. So it's inversely proportional to time. And this change that we're talking about, uh, this change uh, could be could be any change. Whenever you have a reaction going on, many things could change. So it could be it could be the change of color, or the mass could be changing. Or the concentration could be changing, or pressure could be changing. So it's any change. If that change happens very quickly, for example, if the color changes very, very quickly, that means the reaction is happening very, very quickly. So, so when you want to figure out uh, whether the reaction is fast or slow, you can just measure any change as long as you're consistent. For example, if you're measuring the change in mass, then in all experiments, just for fair comparison, it's important that you keep the variables constant. So I've got. I've got a reaction in which I've got uh, Mg reacting with HCl. And it's forming MgCl2 plus H2 gas. So you get this one is solid, this is aqueous. Uh, Bajib, okay, if you look at this reaction, what are the different ways in which you could measure the rate of the reaction, whether it's happening quickly or fast? So what are the changes that you could measure? And remember, the change has to be observable and quantifiable. 